This is my boxed up um, simple Super Jewel Ringer 2.0. And I had a lot of decisions to make on what I was going to do with this project based on my particular needs for this device. And uh, this is uh, what I ended up with. And I'm just calling this the uh, simple Super Jewel Ringer 2.0. Uh, the original inventor of this idea was Laser Saber, and many, many other people worked on this project. I'm just one of them. But uh, I'm not going to give any credit to anybody else, not even myself. It was a combined effort from a lot of different people, and people are modifying this and doing all kinds of things with it. Um, Anyway, I just wanted to show this, what I ended up with. Uh, this is the 12-volt uh, Radio Shack transformer, the small one, the 450 milliamp. And Peanut Butter was the first one that introduced this um, into the circuit. And uh, this is what I ended up with. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this well enough to replicate it, or if you even want to. But uh, that's what the setup looks like. It's a... Uh, it's a boxed up unit with an extension cord, uh, an addition, as well as a light here, and then a solar panel or a plug where you can charge the, uh, the battery internally. And that's all I'm using. I'm just using rechargeable AA nickel metal hydride batteries. That's what I ended up with. And the reason I did this was uh, for my use on the boat, I usually have a whole bunch of AA batteries on board. And if there was no sun and I had no way to charge this, I can always throw a bunch of AA batteries on that battery pack and make that thing work. So anyway, this is what I ended up with was this uh, rather simplified uh, Super Joe Ringer 2.0, and like I say, the original inventor of this was Laser Saber, and then many other people have been involved. And uh, I would like to give credit to all of them, but uh, um, I can't. So I'm just uh, sharing, sharing this circuit here. Now, one major thing right there that I'd like to see everybody do that's building these is put a fuse in this thing. And my fuse is right there in this box and make it so you can get to it and replace it. I'm using a 2 amp fuse and you really need something like this in a device that you're going to use so that if you have a short or something happens you don't cause a fire and it can happen and I've almost burned up some of my projects because I didn't add a fuse so I really recommend put a fuse in your circuit right by the battery so that if something happens down in here you can disconnect the battery with that fuse um, this charging port here, I'm using a solar panel over there. This is in my bedroom, and it's not a 100-watt light bulb driving this. This is the sun coming through that skylight. So there's no other lights on in my bedroom. So somebody said that, oh, I'm just driving it with a 100-watt light bulb, and uh, I'm not. This is solar light inside the house. Now I've got hooked up here an LED light there and an LED light there. These are about two and a half watt or two watt bulbs and I'm going to turn this on and the battery's not connected here and this is what one I think I want <coughs> excuse me I wanted was to be able to drive this without a battery just off of internal solar light to be able to move uh, the light around a small dwelling like a hut that was dark um, where you could read or, or do whatever you needed to do and one of the guys work on this project lives in a place where his kitchen is dark and he's using one of these units to light up his kitchen area in his dwelling during the daytime where it's dark and here's another light here that I can turn on and uh, this is the kind of thing that I, I wanted to be able to do was have some kind of a way to make light using solar energy that comes into the dwelling that's coming into the dwelling uh, naturally like in the doorway maybe or some place where the light gets into the dwelling and then be able to move it around using alternating current AC and not lose the power um, with line loss so this was my idea for the whole project was this is what's different than the other LED projects was the fact that it's alternating current 
So what I'm going to do here, though, is I'm going to show you the other part of this, which is really what I'm going to be using more on the boat, was this bulb here, this Utilitech bulb at 7.5 watts. And this is what Peanut Butter has worked with so much on this circuit. And in his last video, he shows taking it apart and modifying the internal circuit here to make this even more efficient. And there's a uh, LED driver, and there's a uh, bridge rectifier and a smoothing capacitor type of situation inside there that he has modified to make this um, <coughs> work better. But on my use, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting this in the boat and running it like this without this extension cord using this battery pack here. And uh, I've been working with it here at the house to see what my wife tolerates and what she likes. And it's that light right there that uh, she's interested in. Something that will work at the table at night as a, uh, as a light. And granted, this is broad daylight, so this doesn't show up very well. But it's a decent light. Uh, the battery pack goes in the box. lid goes on the box. And there you have a a decent light that you can use. And uh, like I say, it's got a battery pack in there that you can recharge it through this port right there, the charging port. Uh, or you can just take the battery pack out and recharge it. Uh, you can plug in an extension cord or run an extension cord off this. Um, this is just a simple inverter. It's all this is. But it runs in the kilohertz. And so you really can't use it for other other needs except for lighting and that's all this was invented for this was all the purpose was was for lighting so anyway that was my uh, my little project that uh, I ended up boxing for a specific purpose which was for use on my sailboat um, at sea in a configuration that was going to be easy to fix if it broke it was going to be able to uh, adapt to different circumstances and uh, like I say it was a specifically designed for what I wanted to use it for. The other guys are building other systems and they're using multiple ones of these bulbs, six or nine of these bulbs, but I just wanted one bright bulb and I found when you add more bulbs you lose the brightness and that's just my feeling on this is uh, you're going to spread out the wattage. So. Anyway, that's my little project that uh, I'm completing now, uh, finishing up, and I'm just calling it the Simple Super Jewel Ringer 2.0. Thanks for watching.